batteries and hot dogs mm. are a lot alike. Uh -huh. No kidding. <laughs> a hot dog has a piece of meat with a roll around it. Well, inside a battery, there's a long rod with a can around it. Now, between the rod and the can is some goopy chemicals called electrolytes. Now, that's what makes electricity flow. Between a hot dog and the roll are some goopy chemicals called mustard and relish. So instead of poles, it has rolls. <laughs> now, if you put a hot dog in a flashlight, nothing happens. Duh. That's because a hot dog doesn't have the right chemicals to make electricity flow. But a battery does. And those chemicals are what make electricity flow from one end of the battery to the other. Now, when the chemicals are used up, the electricity stops and the battery's dead. But batteries are a good, compact source of energy. So are hot dogs. <laughs> mm. They're beautiful, aren't they? All those electrons flowing through all those conductors in complete circuits. Look at all that light. It's great. It's electricity. Well, guess what? <laughs> Real funny, though. That's the end of our show. Produced in association with the National Science Foundation. See? This generator is connected to the exercise bicycle wheel. It completes a circuit that powers this light bulb. Just a few more minutes. That's it. Free. See, it takes 100 watts to run a 100 watt light bulb. Now 100 watts, that's a lot of watts. That's a lot of power. Power, that's energy per unit time. You're burning calories. Don't slow down. Make it burn. He's peddling science guys, the light bulb will 